Reproducibility means measuring the activity of a known source over a long period of time. The dose calibrator is checked for constancy with a long life dedicated check source. We use cesium-137, which has a 30-year half-life. This test is performed daily to ensure the correct function of the dose calibrator and most importantly, to ensure that the prescribed dose is equivalent to the delivered dose. The QC constancy check is performed on each isotope that is going to be used that day. Cesium-137 is the preferred radioactive source. It is a long-lived isotope that degrades at a precise, measurable rate over time. Ensure that the same cesium-137 source is used for the constancy check each day. Before performing any test, ensure that you are wearing a white coat and have your radiation badge and personal protective equipment on. As there is always background radiation in the room, do not perform checks in the room when the background radiation is abnormally high. A high background radiation value will in turn be subtracted from the dose which will result in the maladministration of the incorrect dose to the patient. Ensure that you use the correct cesium-137 source. There is more than one used for testing. Place the container behind the L-block, unscrew the cap and remove the source. Using tongs, grasp the source and place it in the dipper. Place the dipper into the well of the dose calibrator. Wait a couple of minutes to allow the ionization to stabilize. Press the cesium-137 button on the dose calibrator until it lights up. Record the value. The acceptable value should be either 10% more or less than the value prescribed by the NRC for the source. The reason for a daily constancy check is to observe if the day-to-day -day reading for the same isotope remains consistent. If the daily reading is out of range, then the DC dipper or sleeve may have been contaminated or there could be excessive background radiation. Cesium-137 can be used to test other radionuclides as there are correction factors built into the dose calibrator to account for the energies and photon fluxes of the radionuclides tested in the dose calibrator. Deviations of greater than 10% indicate a fault in the system that must be remedied before the calibrator can be used. A linearity test is performed quarterly to ensure that the dose calibrator is reading accurately along the continuum of values from the microcurry to the millicurry range. There are two methods of testing the linearity of the dose calibrator, the decay method or the shield method. The first method involves obtaining a 100 millicurry source of technetium-99 and obtaining a reading immediately when it arrives. Although this is a time-consuming process, periodic checks throughout the decay process or the use of automated instruments make it a feasible test process. As technetium-99 has a known decay rate, we can ascertain the linearity of the dose calibrator by ensuring that the readings are within 10% of the calculated decay rate at any given time point. The black cylinder is composed only of plastic and is needed to maintain the geometry of the source in the lead-lined cylinders. Place the 100 millicurry source in the plastic container, then place the black plastic sleeve in the dose calibrator to obtain a reading. Record the reading. Keeping the source in the black sleeve and behind the L-block, place the least thick lead-lined sleeve over the black plastic sleeve. This thickness corresponds to the reading of the first elapsed time period. Continue to increase the sleeve thicknesses to mimic the passage of time and rate of decay. There are 11 possible combinations that can be used to simulate the linearity test.